The Arts Commission was founded in 1959 and it's the longest standing local arts agency in the state of Ohio. Um, we exist to serve artists, arts organization, the business community, and the general public at large. Um, but really, if you boil down any of our programs, we exist to inspire a vibrant Toledo. The Accelerator Grant Program is part of our Artist Services Initiative that we are revamping for our organization. Over the past couple of years, we've identified that it's really important to support those artists that are working locally trying to make a living, trying to advance their careers as visual performing and literary artists and oftentimes there are barriers or challenges to that growth and the Accelerator Grant Program is one means to connect artists with resources. What we heard very loudly from a majority of the community is that I don't know what I need until I need it and when I need those resources, that's what can really propel me forward uh, to make that next body of work. So we see this as a way as well to grow their capacity and build their confidence in seeking out these types of opportunities. So with that being said, we are very glad to see that there is either a specific project or a specific goal that this funding will help to accelerate hence the name of the program. It's moving it quickly along to hopefully have an impact on that artist's career, therefore an impact on our creative community. My name is Alan Iwamura. I am a recipient of the Arts Commission's Accelerator Grant and my business is glass making. I plan to study and use traditional Japanese woodblock prints as inspiration uh, to create my own compositions, my own two-dimensional compositions on three-dimensional blown glass sculpture. I would say that the work that I am going to be creating would stimulate the creative economy in Toledo by uh, providing a unique uh, take on um, a traditional material and process. Uh, and it's, a, it's an opportunity to share my own voice through my artwork. To have been chosen for the Accelerator Grant by the Arts Commission was a huge honor. Um, I, uh, I can't tell you how appreciative I am that they took notice of um, you know, the, the work that I was hoping to pursue and um, you know, the, the direction in which uh, I am moving with, with my artwork. This is a huge opportunity to embark on a new body of work and for me it's the beginning of an exploration that uh, is going to greatly inform the direction that I take my artwork for years to come. My name is Jay Dickerson. Um, I'm a recipient of the Arts Commission Accelerator Grant, um, and my business is photography um, and also writing. My expertise with photography is centered around street photography. Street portraiture is, is my favorite aspect of that. Um, I like approaching people that have a, I guess a certain look to them. Something that really grabs my eye, whether guy or girl, is just, you know, I notice everything and a lot of that comes from being a writer. You're always looking for nuances you know, you're just looking for colors, you're looking for just anything that might stand out for future reference or just because, you know, you're attracted to it. Knowing that someone appreciates what I'm doing um, or saw something in it, was it's a bit of a shock because that, that world is small. To, to see that it was like, you know, a winning trait, a winning skill, um, that was definitely a, an exciting moment. It, it made me feel legit, you know, that I wasn't just doing this thing that um, people find invasive. 
I do shoot film 90% of the time, with the exception of the 10%. I use my Fuji X-Pro1. My favorite people in the world are my Pentax camera, Pentax K2, and my Canonette QL7. One of the reasons why I kind of stuck with film is just because it's it puts everything on a personal level. With film, you're a bit more concentrated. Winning this grant kind of kicked things into gear for me a lot earlier than expected. So eventually one day, even if it's only for three months out of the year, I want to have a community dark room. Something that people can come in and not have to worry about paying you know, a ton of money to have this experience and they can walk out of there with their own print. Winning this grant, it caused a lot of things to leap forward, so I'm like really excited about that. The community darkroom might be, you know, two years away, but it's definitely doable now because I'll be able to gain that experience today versus three months from now. My name is Ian Welch. Uh, I'm a recipient of the Accelerator Grant uh, for the summer of 2017. Uh, and my business is Pegboard Press. Basically what I do here is I'm a printmaker. So printmaking can be defined as you take a matrix. Basically that means like a wood block, a piece of copper, a piece of plexiglass, something like that. You draw on it and then you ink it up and then you pull a print from that piece. So the nice thing is is that you're taking that block and it's an original piece of art and every print you pull is its own original piece of art as well. So it's different than doing something that's like a digital print or something, you know, it's just, you know, clicked on a computer. You know, there's something about it being printed by hand, there's embossment, there's texture, there's a real physicality that gets closer to like what a painting might be. There's not really a whole lot of opportunities for that kind, this kind of process. My shop is about teaching people what this process is. So, um, and also doing things with uh, doing small artist editions. So bringing artists in, teaching them how to use this equipment, kind of develop an image, and then I help them print it. There's an opportunity there to kind of let those artists come in, work in the shop, develop that process, learn how to make an image in a different way, which kind of I think helps feed the creative community here. This is more about image, this is more about uh, content versus you know a letterpress where you do invitations or gig posters or things like that. This is about art with a capital A I guess. I'm really grateful for the opportunity the Accelerator Grant has given me uh, just because it's kind of giving merit and it makes it feel like I actually, what I'm trying to do here is a value and it's an investment. You know, we're taking, you know, public money to do something great. Printmaking above everything else, it's a communal process. What I would love to do is I'd love to have an opportunity to bring this shop into a scenario where people can actually come in, rent studio time and take classes and workshops. What I want to take away from like this whole Accelerator Grant uh, opportunity is, again, just building community. That's where I want to keep focusing on. I like collaboration. I like working with other people. Um, and I just really enjoy sharing my passion. With the Accelerator Grant program uh, and what the grants are doing for artists, is sending a very clear signal that they're valued in our community and that we understand their contributions to not only quality of life but the over uh, economic picture in the city. Um, when an artist uh, launches a project or convenes a community, it brings people together, it builds a sense of identity, and it builds a sense of place. These grants really are meant to be focused, quick, help you get through a challenge or a barrier that you didn't anticipate so that you can carry your work forward and thereby your career. Uh, 
us. So I think that um, right now is the best reflection that we have. Um, we are only uh, through our second cycle, so we're learning each time of little tweaks that we can make to the program so that it's more user-friendly in the terms of the application process, but just understanding what the needs are in the artists in the community so that we can continue to build the case that this type of funding needs to exist beyond the pilot year as well.